fox and the snake. There lived a big snake near the pond in a forest. The pond was full of big and small frogs. The frogs were living happily under their king's rule. The big snake became old and weak. He could not catch his prey easily and used to starve. One day he thought of a plan upon seeing many frogs in the pond. He decided to trick the fox in order to have his meals. He went to the pond and lay there, there as if he was suffering from illness. A frog was passing by from there. On seeing the weak snake, he inquired the, inquired the snake. He told that he had been cursed by a Brahmin to serve the frogs of the spawn as he had bit the son of the Brahmin. So he had to serve them and eat the food offered by them. Upon hearing the surprising words of snake, the frog hurriedly went to the king frog and told everything to him. He said that the snake had told him that he had been cursed by a Brahmin so he would serve as an need to need not to be scared of him as he would eat the food offered by us. The king frog and other frogs were delighted to hear this. The king the king frog and the other frogs cheerfully went to the big snake. The king frog asked him about the curse. One being assured by the snake that he would do not harm. The king frog decided to take a ride on the snake's back. The king frog and other frogs gathered around the snake's snake and jumped, jumped onto the back of the big snake to have a joyful ride. The big snake swam in the pond with all the frogs riding on his back. The frogs were having a very enjoyable time. The snake was entertaining. entertaining them with all his might. The next day they, they again crawled for a joy ride and rightly hoped on the snake's back. Now the snake knew that the time has come to fill his empty stomach with the delicious food riding on his back. The snake while moving Around the pool, they brightly slowed down his pace in order to show that he had been tired. The king frog noticed this and asked him about the reason of his slow pace. The snake said that he had become weak due to starving and he could not move any more. In this way, every day after the ride on the snake's back, the king frog would let the snake eat the frog at the end of his tail. The snake would then quickly gap it down. This continued for many days till the snake had eaten all the frogs except the king frog himself, who seemed quite unwarm and aware of this fact. The very next day, the king frog untook the same words after the ride. The snake turned around and saw the only king frog was left on his back. He said to the king that now there were no frogs left except you. You promised 
quickly turn around and grab the king frog in a trice. Moral: Stay away from the bat.